Hi, I'm Spencer Vaught. And I'm Vanessa Asdison, and welcome to this week's edition of Good Morning KU on Friday. I'm really looking forward to the weekend. It's been a long week. I'm glad it's finally Friday. Yeah. Do you have anything going on exciting this weekend? Um, not really. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just working. I, I, that's really all right. I do every weekend. Right. I, uh, not eventful. I'm going to a birthday party, but... Um, what about you? I heard um, you have some exciting things going I do. Going on. I will be going to the Chiefs Broncos game in Denver. I'm really excited about that. Wow. I will be rooting for the Chiefs though. Of course. I know, I of mean. course. I'm I'm really excited about them. They've been doing they've been doing good this this season. Oh yeah. Right. I'm pleasantly pleased. <laughs> I I don't want to say I'm surprised because <laughs> yeah, that sounds Because that bad. sounds a little bad, it but does. we don't They've been doing do good. Um, I even think there is a bet going on on set. Yeah, on I know. Be, who's going to so be we'll winning see. this game this That'll weekend. be interesting it will. to see It'll how be that a good pans game. out. It will. I have faith in them. I do they're too. doing good so far. They so. have. I'm excited. Um, speaking of sports, we have some KU sports coming up. Mhm. Mm uh, the volleyball team is doing very well. They're they will doing be, very well. Um, tomorrow, uh, they will be playing K-State at 6.30 mm -hmm. p.m. So if you can be there, try to go out and support them. They've been doing well. Um, that should be a good game. I know K-State's been doing well, too. So Yeah, so that'll be kind of a tight, <laughs> knuckle tight. I know, um, they'll need some support. So. Oh, yeah. Well, before that, though, you should go to the KU game. Right, the football the game. West Virginia. Don't so. forget about the football no, team. No, don't forget about that. I know I can't be there because right. I work, and then you'll be in Denver. I will but be out of state. But be there for us. Root for them for us. So. Yeah. Send them some good thoughts. It'll be. Oh, yeah. It should be good. It's KU games are always fun. Oh, yeah, they are. Um, I've been to a few. Right. I always have a good time. Actually, my roommate, uh, a 411, she's going to be doing <laughs> security there as a side gig. A so that should be interesting. 4 foot 11. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, but... That should, that should be interesting. Yeah. Um, also, we have the basketball game next Tuesday mm -hmm. against Iona, so that will be at 7. Make sure to support your basketball team. Um, they've been doing pretty good. It's, mm -hmm. They had an exciting game last week, so um, looking forward to seeing oh, what yeah. they have in the future for looking us. Looking forward to being able to go to one. Right. Um, so. And then before you know it, it's going to be Thanksgiving oh, I break. I know, I know. Can you believe we, it? We have one more week, and then after that, is Thanksgiving it's and crazy. then after that since Thanksgiving so late this year Christmas will be around the corner right. the end of the semester I know so I'm like I'm just <sighs> it's coming by so fast before you know it we'll be having finals and oh yeah yeah I really need to start on those projects I know <laughs> there's a lot there's a there's lot, a lot, lot going, on. going um, on just want to make sure everyone's finishing strong it should be a quick rest of the semester but oh yeah it's been going really quickly right. so far so I think the I last think few weeks is, are just going to people speed are enrolling by. for their classes next semester it oh yeah be. I'm already enrolled I have like five classes I know <laughs> so it's gonna next semester like is going to be busy but <laughs> it should be exciting well we'll be back in a little bit after the break with an interview um who are we IT all right so IT? we'll see you in a bit thanks Samantha Harms and I am here with Chuck LaPointe and he is from KU's Information Technology. Thanks for being on the show with us today. Well thanks for having us Sam. Um, we have uh, a couple of, I don't know if I'd call them exciting, but we do have a couple of interesting uh, initiatives out there right now and one of them is a survey that we're asking students to to take and uh, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to help us to help them. Um, we right. can find out what kind of devices they're using on campus, what kind of apps they would like to see, um, so we're just trying to reach out a little bit and get a feel for what students want and are using right now on campus. Very cool. And uh, I believe they were going to scroll the URL of that uh, site. Um, it's uh, technology. Right now, I'd like to go on and take that. Please do. It only takes about 10 minutes. Um, some of the questions. Uh, we'd like to know what types of mobile apps you're currently using. Uh, what tools do your instructors use? Um, how do you feel about technology and the KU learning experience? and what technology do you believe KU needs to add? 
So that with amongst uh, maybe about 10 or more questions um, is pretty much the entire survey. And we really hope that the students go out and um, uh, take that because it will help us a lot. Yeah, and so students, make sure you go out and take that survey. And uh, I know you also have another event coming up as well, Hawk Days, and those will be next week. You want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, first year experience, of course, puts on Hawk Week and then Hawk Days uh, in uh, September, October, and November. And um, November 18th through the 22nd, all of next week, uh, KUIT will be in Anschutz Library. Uh, on the third floor, right in the entranceway, and uh, we'll be there to answer questions, help any students with any technology issues, and we will also be giving some demonstrations. We have a virtual lab that students are still maybe not too aware of yet, and we'll have some demonstrations on that, and it's excellent. Um, with the virtual lab, if you have an iOS device, you know how difficult it is to work with oh, Microsoft yeah. <laughs> Office products. Oh, with, yeah. with the virtual lab, you can actually go to the lab environment that we have here at KU and use all the Microsoft Office products, wow. either right. on your iPhone or your iPad. Well, that's very helpful. Yep. All right. So students, make sure you go out and check out Hawk Days and take that student survey. They're going to need as much information as they can get. Thanks for being on the show with us today. Well, we thanks really for having us. It. And again, um, the survey is short, and um, the information we gather will definitely help us uh, serve the students. All right. Thank you. Thanks. And we'll be right back with Jade with the news. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back. My name is Jay Daniels. For today's news, China's ruling Communist Party has decided to relax its policy of allowing families to have more than one child. According to USA Today, the changes are part of a key policy document released by the official Xinhua News Agency following a four-day meeting of party leaders in Beijing. China's family planning policy currently limits most urban couples to one child and allows two children for rural families if their firstborn is a girl. For students who enjoy Asian food, a new Japanese restaurant has opened in downtown Lawrence. If you think instant ramen is the real ramen noodle, then you are wrong. Ramen Bowl opened three weeks ago and is the newest Japanese ramen restaurant in town. It brings authentic ramen noodle to Lawrence. Although the restaurant is quite small, it is fully decorated in Japanese style. This, this newborn restaurant only serves Japanese ramen and wine. It includes a small bar inside so people can relax while enjoying their food. The real Japanese ramen requires much more time to prepare than sushi. The most important step in preparation is to use 10 whole chickens to create the noodle broth. Broths are made from scratch. We start our broths at 6 a.m. every day. Uh, our noodles are shipped in um, from a company based out of Hawaii, and they come in fresh. Shrimp, scallops, fresh vegetables, and half-cooked eggs are also added to make the broth tasty. If you want to try something new in town, do go to Ramen Bowl, but don't forget to ask for the half price coupon. Three of the top high school basketball recruits are expected to announce their intentions this afternoon, and KU hopes to land all three. Top ranked Jalil Okafor is expected to choose between Kansas and Duke. Fourth ranked Cliff Alexander is considering KU, Illinois, DePaul, and Memphis and fifth-ranked Tyus Jones has narrowed his choices to KU, Duke, Baylor, and Minnesota. After signing last year's number one, Andrew Wiggins, the Jayhawks will know by 3.30 p.m. today whether they have signed any three of this year's top five. And that wraps it up for today's news. Hope to see you all tomorrow at Memorial Stadium for the game. Have a great Friday, a great weekend. Be safe, and thanks for tuning in.